Hello viewers. Today we are going to discuss about the derivation of lens formula. So what is a lens? Lens is made up of a transparent substance and it is bounded by two spherical surface. Now a thin lens has very thin dimension as compared to the object distance and image distance. Actually lens is one of the most important optical device for us because in a human eye also convex lens is present through which we are able to see. May there are many other uses which I have discussed previously also. Yes, you must be knowing. Of course, they are used in camera, telescope, microscope, then for making our spectacles. So today we will be studying about the lens formula. But before that, let us discuss about or recall the optical terms like optical center, center of curvature, principal focus, principal axis and so on. So basically children, we will be studying about that there are two types of lens. One is convex and the other is concave. This one is convex. This is also known as converging. And this is concave which is also known as diverging. This I am telling you because in many numericals it will be written as converging and diverging. It will not be written as convex and concave. Now the making of lens. How it is made up of? See, if I am taking a convex lens, there are two surfaces, spherical surface S1 and S2. Now this S2 is made from one of the sphere this and this S1 is made from another sphere over here. Now these two sphere will have two centers. This is your C1 and this is your C2. And if we join the line, this one is known as principal axis. Principal axis. C1, C2 are the center of curvatures. And the middle of the lens, the center of the lens, this lying on the principal axis, this is known as optical center. O is the optical center. Now, let us understand what is principal focus. See, principal axis, optical center, C1, C2. Fine. Now, if this is the aperture of the lens, if a ray parallel to the principal axis, it meets here or it strikes the lens, then it will cross the principal axis at a point. Similarly, this another incident ray parallel to the principal axis, again it meets the principal axis at this point. So, the point where these two ray meet is called the principal focus. That means, again I am repeating, the incident ray which is parallel to the principal axis, these rays when meet at the principal axis after refraction is called the principal focus. Now what about sign convention? Focal length will be First focal length. What is focal length? This OF will be focal length. So, this focal length will be positive or negative. See the sign convention. If the incident ray which is parallel to the principal axis, if all the measurements are taken in the same direction, then that is taken as positive and in the opposite direction it is taken as negative. So, your F will be positive or negative children. 
of course it will be positive now let us see for concave lens for concave lens again this is the aperture this is the optical center this is the principal axis if the rays are parallel to the principal axis okay after refraction they bend in this manner they are not meeting with each other so they appear to meet at one point and this point is known as the principal focus and that is why you can see the rays are being diverged so this is called diverging lens so focal length will be a positive or negative this is plus direction this is minus of course f will be your negative this is your focal length f will be negative now coming to object distance and image distance now if i am taking a convex lens this is called double convex lens this is your aperture this is the principal axis this is the optical center and here i am taking an object let it be a b this is an extended object so from the rules of sci rays formation see tracing image which you say uh, one of the ray will simply pass through the optical center it will simply pass without any deviation without any refraction it goes in this manner second ray which is parallel to the principal axis will pass through the focus this is the focus and see you can see that these two rays are meeting at this point so the image will be formed here this will be a dash b dash you can see that a dash b dash what is the nature it is real inverted and magnified now we have to derive the lens formula lens formula is 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u this we have to derive so in the triangle and one more thing to learn uh, sign convention let us discuss that first see this is your focal length your image is formed so this is your v and this is the object so this one is u so what will be u positive or negative i am taking this direction as positive in the direction of incident ray and this is taken as negative so what will be u here u will be negative v positive and f also positive now we will take the help of geometry to understand the or to derive the lens formula so we will search we will locate two similar triangles over here which are having the properties of similar triangles see we can and one more thing the these two triangles should contain object and image those triangles only we have to take so one we can locate this triangle aob and the other one ob dash a dash this big triangle okay we can see that this and this angle vertically opposite angle so they will be equal this is 90 degree this is also 90 degree so we are getting the similar triangles i am writing here we are getting two similar triangles triangle aob and triangle a dash o b dash they are similar if they are similar then the ratio of the sides will be also equal that means a dash b dash upon ab will be equal to ob dash upon ob let us put this equation number 1 now again in this diagram we have to locate two triangles two similar triangles which contain object and image so let us now take 
let me put this M, M O F, M O F and the other triangle A dash B dash F. We can see here that these two vertically opposite angles and then this is again 90 degree, this is 90 degree. So they are also similar triangles. Triangle M O F, I hope it's visible and triangle F B dash A dash. In these two triangles because they are similar A dash B dash upon M O equals to F B dash upon O F. So just now I discussed that this M O can be equal to A B. So this can be rewritten as A B dash upon A B equals to F B dash upon O F. And put this equation number 2. Now geometrically we have written this. Now we will write the optical values. That is in terms of U, V and F. See from here. A dash B dash. A dash B dash is this. You can see over here. First of all. In equation 1 and 2, LHS are equal, you can see. LHS are equal. So, RHS will also be equal. RHS will be equal. That means, OB dash upon OB will be equal to FB dash upon OF. Now, what is OB dash in this diagram? OB dash means V and OB means U. You can see FB dash we are not knowing. OF is focal length. So only unknown term is your FB dash. So can't FB dash be written in the other terms? We can write FB dash. See from here. FB dash is equal to OB dash minus fb dash why i am doing so because see in lens formula there are only three variables f v and u we have to put this equation in those terms so we get over here if we are putting the geometrical values then we can get here i am erasing this OB dash. OB dash means V. Here you have to write putting the optical values. The optical values. And using the sign convention. We are using the sign convention. So OB dash is plus V. Because the rays are going in this incident ray is going in this direction. So all the measurements in this direction will be taken as positive and here it will be taken as negative as discussed before. So plus V and what is OB? OB is your minus U equals to FB dash means OB dash minus FB dash. So OB dash is again your V and what is FB dash? Uh, sorry FB dash it will not be FD dash sorry minus OF. So, V minus F and again OF. OF means focal length F. Focal length will be positive or negative? Yes, it will be positive. So, on cross multiplication we get VF equals to minus UV plus UF. We want this formula. So, what can be done? We can divide each of these terms by UVF. Let us divide on dividing by throughout, you write throughout by UVF. So we get your VF upon UVF is equal to minus UV upon UVF plus UF upon UVF. So what we are getting here? 1 upon U equals to minus 1 upon F plus 1 upon V. On rearranging this, if we rearrange this, we will get 1 upon F is equal to 1 upon V minus 1 upon U. 
and children this is only your lens formula i hope it's clear once more i am just concluding it see we took convex lens and we took an extended object ab and then the image was formed a dash b dash real inverted and magnified image we have to derive the relation between u v and f so for that first we take the help of geometry we choose any two similar triangles we have taken triangle aob and triangle b dash o a dash this triangle and this triangle so these are two similar triangles so the ratio of sides will be equal we have taken this concept then we choose again this triangle and this triangle these were also true that it was it is a similar triangle so here also the ratio of the sides will be equal so we are getting two equations then lhs was equal so rhs will be equal so on writing this we got this while putting the optical values and most important put the sign convention here otherwise it will be wrong especially numericals also children put the sign convention in a proper manner otherwise the whole numerical will be wrong it's very important to understand the sign convention so on using this we get here and on dividing through uvf because we have to derive this formula we get finally 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u now some questions for you which i will discuss and you will be doing as your homework and answers put it in the comment box or if there is any doubt that also put it in the comment box okay children thank you now i am giving two questions as your homework you do it put your answers in the comment box and if there is any doubt then also you can write it in the comment box now see in the first question we have to plot a graph of u and v yes so how will you do this you have to use the lens formula and from the lens formula you see that whether the equation is resembling a straight line or a parabola on negative side or on positive side this is your mcq now the second question is a numerical again this is based on lens formula whenever we solve a numerical children first you write the things given what are the things given to you then you apply the formula and you see check the units whether they are in the same set of units then you put the values in this equation